Hey guys, it's Susan and I'm here, level two class, video training one about fear. So we're going to talk a little bit about fear and what holds you back and what really it comes down to that really keeps people from succeeding in this business. So get out your notebook. Hopefully you have a Rodan and Fields notebook that you collect all of your professional development and notes from training. I highly recommend that if you don't. And then also, if you do not have or you have not read Get Over Your Damn Self by Romy Newstaff, then you need to get yourself a copy of this book. It's like 8 to $10 on Amazon. You can get it at a bookstore. Um, it is a must-have for this class, I'm going to use, it's the basis of a lot of the training videos that I'm going to have for you guys, um, and it's fabulous. So I highly recommend it if you're not reading it and you're serious about growing this business, you need to get a copy. So real quick, I'm going to just give the Cliff Notes version of chapter one of her book combined with training that I've heard twice now in person from Romy about fear. So, really quickly, the first chapter of Romy's book is about the four reasons why people fail in this business. It's hard to talk about the word fail, um, but I think unless you're honest with yourself and you're honest with your accountability partner um, and your sponsor about why you're not doing what you say you want to do in this business, unless you're not, unless you are honest with yourself and talk through and analyze why you're not getting what you want out of this, you're never going to change and it's never going to get better. Because I 100% believe in all things in life, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, right? If we want things to change, we have to change our actions. And so the four reasons Romy states that people fail in this business are pretty simple. Um, the first one, I'm looking at my notes. The first one is they're not coachable. So one of the biggest reasons we do training like this is, you know, me, other people, other leaders are here. We've been around for a while. We've gone through a lot of this. We've made mistakes. We've learned from our mistakes. And we want to help you. We want to coach you. We're there for you to help you grow. But are you listening? Are you listening to what people who are successful are doing and what they're asking you to do or what they're sharing works for them in this business? Are you kind of doing what you want. Um, I found both in my own personal business and journey in Rodan and Fields and with coaching a lot of people that people that aren't coachable will like listen and say, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, okay. And then their day-to-day -day actions, when you go back, don't match what they said they want to do. They say they want to recruit to a consultant, and you talk about, well, how are you going to do that? What are the action steps? Okay, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to leave with the business. I'm going to do three-way calls. I'm going to have an event, and then they didn't actually do that. They spent all their time scrolling on Facebook and signing up new PCs, which is not bad, but that's not what they said they were going to do, or they just did their own thing. They didn't listen to the people who tried or wanted to help them. You have to be coachable, and as Romy says in her book, you need to say out loud right now. I don't care where you are. If you want to wait until you're home or in a quiet place and say, I am coachable. You need to claim that. Name it and claim it right now. You have to be coachable in this business. And people who aren't coachable, that's one reason why people fail. Reason number two. Oh, and I love this quote about being coachable. If you're going to get something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. Again, that goes back to the whole definition of insanity. If you've said you want to recruit too many people and get to level two, but you haven't, that means whatever you've been doing hasn't been working. Again, this is time for cold, honest truth here. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm not saying this to be critical. I'm just saying what is true. This is business. You have got to do what works, right? That's part of being coachable. Um, a lot of reasons people fail is they don't treat this like a business. We're all busy. Do you guys know that when Romy started her business and did so much, so big, so fast, replaced her PR executive salary in, a, in nine months? That's insane. She had two kids. Her husband is a full time, was a full time doctor at the time, and she was a full time PR executive, billable hours. She worked a whole lot more than nine to five. Did she have time to build a huge business? Absolutely not. Story after story, people who are, who are effects, Lexus drivers, all kinds of people out there, 
me even, when I first ran for level five, I had a young baby. I was commuting 30 minutes back and forth. I was breastfeeding. I was doing so much and I still found time. You can make the time, but you have to treat this like a business. That doesn't mean you're spending all day. None of us are spending all day every day. That's not what this business is about, working our business, right? We're not sitting at a desk nine to five. But we are being strategic and carving out that time in our busy week to work our business because that's what it takes. We have to treat it like a business. You are the CEO. You are in charge of that action. Nobody else is going to do it for you, right? Reason number three why people fail in this business. They're not willing to get uncomfortable. I think this is a big one. A little personal story. Today, even, I was talking about, you know, <clears throat> Today happens to be the day that Lash Boost came back available as a standalone item after being unavailable. I was expecting it to get like all these orders. I think I've gotten two so far, which is great. But you know what? I have a choice. When I hop off of this video, I've got about an hour left before I need to shower and go to bed. I could spend that next hour messaging tons of people and trying to get more Lash Boost orders, which would be great. Nothing wrong with that. But I know that recruiting is the answer, and recruiting is what I want to do. I want to find my next new rock stars for our team. And that is only going to happen by reaching out and leading with the business, not by talking to more people about Lash Boost. And so, again, you have – but you know what? PCs are a sweet spot for me. PCs are a sweet spot for a lot of people in this business because it's – a lot of times, way easier to get someone hooked on the products and sign up as a preferred customer than to get them signed up for the business. But you know what? You have to be willing to get uncomfortable. You have to. It's just what it takes. And the people who aren't willing to do that are the people that don't, don't succeed and don't do what they want to do. Reason number four, they're not hungry enough. You have to want it. You have to want it. And our next week's training will be about your why. And so much has to do with digging deep, deep, deep into your why. Um, but you have to be so deeply committed to your why and to action and to doing absolutely whatever it takes. If that means staying up five minutes later and sending those five more messages to people about the business. If that means taking, instead of watching Netflix, taking time to schedule two three-way calls. Whatever that looks like for you, you know, no TV. I know people who don't, I barely watch TV. People who don't watch TV, people who, um, you know, find time to do training calls while they're working or it, working out or on a walk or, um, again, making sure that they are doing whatever it takes to fit this business into their busy life. Those are the people that succeed, that are so committed and hungry to make this work and do this big. Those are the people that succeed. So I want to leave you with, or the next part, um, I love this quote from Remy's book. You've got to figure out what you really want that you don't already have. Whatever it is, it's got to be important enough to get you to do something with commitment and consistency. It's got to be important enough to get you up to make that one more phone call, to reach out to one more person, to loop back with one more prospect, even when you're bone ass tired, because we want something bad enough in this life, we make it happen. It's just that simple. So do you want it bad enough? I've also found that in addition, and again, this is the Romy training I've heard a lot as well from her, is a lot of that also goes into fear. So I want to you to do something. I want you to get a piece of paper and get a pen. I have one right here. This is what I've done with her in person in this training. And I want you to write down fear at the top. And I want you to write, what am I so afraid of? What am I so afraid of? Because honestly, friends, fears are tied to objections. What objections did you have going into the business? I seriously want you to write down the answers to these questions I'm saying right now. These are not rhetorical what objections did I have going into the business? How did those or do they still carry over into my day-to-day -day approach to my business? Do you think the products are too expensive? Do you think people shouldn't have to pay that much? Do you think you're not successful enough and that's why you don't want to build a team? Do you think you don't know enough about the business to have a, have a team? Do you feel like you wouldn't be a good enough leader? What are those objections that you have 
to growing a team. Sometimes I find that that's the fear that people have, and that's why they're not recruiting more. Other things to consider, are you scared of what people think of you? Are you scared of hearing no? And I want you to write that down, even if it takes a while and you got to sit with it. What are you so afraid of? Because more than likely, those things that you're writing down are what's holding you back. So after you've taken some time to write down, what are you so afraid of? Who are you afraid of? What outcomes are you afraid of? Um, what fears do you have associated with Rodan and Field specifically and growing a bigger business? And then I want you to cross them off. And then I want you to take that piece of paper. Sorry. And I want you to rip it up. I want you to physically rip it up because you know what? You have to say no to those fears and you have to say, F it. I am going to build this business even though I'm scared because you know what? I'm scared too. Three years, successful, still scared of stuff. People I'm still scared to reach out to. We're going to talk on your individual coaching call this week about your chicken list and who you're scared to talk to about Rodan and Fields. But you know what? The successful people are the ones that, A, do all those other things we talked about. They're coachable. They treat it like a business. They're willing to get uncomfortable. They're willing to do whatever it takes. They're also willing to get over their fears because fear is real. We're human. We all have fear from Romy on down. The difference maker is the people who decide to say no to the fear and to keep going and to do it anyway. So I'm so excited to, get, um, to talk to you guys on Zoom this week and on individual coaching calls. Hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure you comment your takeaways. That's your homework. Bye.